Hello everyone, you are watching Average Joe Video. I'm Joe and I have an awesome video for you today. You gotta check this out. So you've probably already seen many of the videos that are circulating on YouTube about soaking your trimmer line in water. Well, it turns out I have this very old spool of trimmer line. And as you can see, it's even starting to turn white, which I'm assuming is because it's drying out or it's breaking down. But everyone says, store it in water, use water, it's going to improve it. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to see how much water this spool will actually absorb. We're gonna find the mass of it in grams. Then we're going to soak it in water for 48 hours, take it out of the water, we're going to allow it to dry, and then we're going to weigh it again and see exactly how much water was absorbed so you gotta stay tuned to find out. And by the way, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get the mass of this spool. We have a mass of 1,265 grams. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and submerge this in water and leave it submerged for approximately 48 hours. We're going to allow it to dry and then we're gonna get a mass once again and determine approximately how much water this spool of trimmer line absorbed. Okay, it has been 48 hours. We're going to remove the spool of trimmer line from the bucket. I'm going to give it some time to dry. Once it is fully dry, I'm going to find the mass of it and I'm going to calculate the amount of water that it absorbed. And I can say already that it does look better than it did before, but I'm not entirely certain of that until it is completely dry. Okay, the spool of steel string trimmer line is finally dry. We're going to find the mass and then we're going to calculate approximately how much water this spool was able to absorb. But before we do that, if you take a look at the spool, this spool is basically like brand new again. I mean, if you compare the before and after, it, it's like a brand new spool of trimmer line. There are no parts anymore that are white or powdery looking. It's not dried out. I mean, it basically looks brand new, even though I would guess this spool is probably 10 to 15 years old if I had to guess. Okay, so we will place the spool on the scale and look at the difference already. So if we take a look here, we are getting a mass of 1,330 grams. Okay, so the final mass, as I already stated, was 1,330 grams. The mass before we soaked it in water was 1,265 grams. This gives us a difference of 65 grams. The density of water is one gram per milliliter. Now that's obviously assuming pure water and that also is not taking into account temperature variances, but it's approximately one gram per milliliter. This means that since we have a difference of 65 grams, then this particular spool of trimmer line absorbed 65 milliliters of water. That is approximately 2.2 fluid ounces, which I think is actually a considerable amount. I mean, I didn't know how much it would absorb. Obviously, this isn't a super scientific way of experimenting with this because we didn't really know how much trimmer line was on the spool and some of the other variables. But what I was trying to do was just get a general idea of how much water will it actually take in. What that means is if you have a spool of trimmer line that is dried out or you suspect that it's breaking before it should be, go ahead and soak it in water. It does provide benefits in terms of the flexibility. Uh, I even had to rewind this on the spool after it dried out because it's now so flexible that it came unwound on its own. So that's just something to think about as well. So thank you again for watching. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. 